Hello Aquarius and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your monthly message for August 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this month's reading, I am using the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. Okay, your moon cycles this month, <clears throat> excuse me, are new moon on the 11th. New moons are new starts, new beginnings, hitting that reset button. And your full moon is on the 26th and full moons are gaining insight and inner wisdom on a situation or things being revealed to you. Or sometimes your secrets being revealed and you don't want them to be. <laughs> okay, these are general messages, so this may or may not resonate with you. If you don't find resonance, I would encourage you to check out whoop, your moon and rising sign also. Okay, these cards are jumping. And I think that is your message. She doesn't do any reverse meaning, so if anything comes out upside down, I will put it back the right way. So you have the Son of Wands, followed by Major Arcana number one, the Magician, and followed by the Five of Wands. Okay. Your first card is the Son of Wands. This son he is he's charming he is honourable he's adventurous he's chivalrous he has courage he has bravery he's a I'm just hearing charmer all the time. I'm hearing, it might mean something to some of you guys, but I'm hearing he's a real charmer, a kind of a, a Jack the Lad energy. He gets along on his, his character of being charming, chivalrous, cheeky, full of life. But the thing is with this character, he, he kind of never really knows himself because he's he's really kind of giving off, it, it's almost a persona he's giving off. And so he kind of has, he has layers and therefore you can never really know him either. So you never really know which son of wands he's going to turn up today, sort of, you know. If you're going to want along to get along with somebody who's who is, you know, charming and cheerful all the time, then you'll never really know the other side of them. Ooh, okay. Next we have Major Arcana number one, the magician. Major Arcana talking about your inner world, your inner being, your major inner knowing. The magician, he has direction, he has willpower, he has a real life force about him. He were depicted as a, um, a cheater with all of this energy radiating. You have a real life force flowing through you this month, Aquarius. It's empowering and it's going to help you realise your dreams, I am hearing. It's a real creative energy. Ooh. Okay, next we have the five of wands. Five is the number of chaos or, or crisis, but it's also the number of transformation and here we we see you being quite fragmented you know you're you're all over the place i think the message of this card is to bring some harmony and balance back to back to your life this month aquarius to 
maybe learn to laugh at yourself maybe treat these times where you know you're thinking it's cri crisis and chaos um, treat it as a healthy challenge something just to overcome and you can this month I feel you can overcome this month I feel some of you are really in this wonderful energy of the Son of Wands which is charming chivalrous it's it's about adventure it's also about action I am hearing there is lots of energy coming off this Son of Wands um, but I, I also see that it kind of goes dark at the bottom so you know use this energy kind of lightly but use it to get yourself into focus using your life force your your willpower you are empowered this month and you will be able to realize your dreams and I feel you can do that if you overcome this energy of the five of ones by literally pulling yourself together spirit is saying pull yourself together get back in balance get some harmony back in your life and and start treating these um, things that you perceive as a crisis or chaos as a healthy challenge start learning to laugh at yourself more spirit is saying oh okay Aquarius so the companion deck is the wild unknown animal spirit which is also King Crans but I do have to read from the book and occasionally it takes me a while to find the page so <laughs> you have to bear with me Okay, what is the message for my wonderful friends Aquarius from Spirit for August 2018? What does Aquarius need to know from Spirit? There we go. Ooh. And you get Phoenix. Scorpio had Phoenix as well this month. And on the top of each card we have um, an elemental symbol and this is the symbol of spirit. So you're connected to spirit this month Aquarius and I can see that with, with the magician. Okay. Phoenix. Freedom from suffering and past karma. Reincarnation. The phoenix represents the transformation of our past. It doesn't mean running from it, denying it, or burning bridges with rage. The phoenix employs an advanced technique described in yoga as the burning of impurities through practice and dedication. The essence of the phoenix is with us when we realise that we have been suffering too long and something must change. We take a stand and decide to live consciously instead of being driven by the unconscious mind. And its long list of fears and aversions at that very moment, the spark of the phoenix is lit and the great bird helps us burn through our baggage. We no longer run from who we are what has happened to us or what we have done. The stuckness and the dead weight fall into the ashes and a lightness and clarity emerge. As the stagnancy continues to smoulder, the phoenix lifts our spirits up and up and we begin to recognise ourselves again. We may catch a glimmer in our eye that wasn't there before. Look closely, it's a sign the fire of transformation is on your wings. Oh, guys, this is the glimmer in your eye. The charm. <laughs> the jack the lad. The glimmer in your eye is returning this month, Aquarius. You are rising from the ashes like a phoenix. You are empowered this month. You are overcoming these trying and testing times. I really see you rising this month, my friends, and this is absolutely wonderful. Wow. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you, too, for your 
lovely, warm, kind, encouraging comments. And do let me know if you are rising this month, Aquarius. Well, if any of you would like to book a private reading with me, get your own personal message from Spirit, you can do so by contacting me at the email address below. Well, I wish you all a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. Day, month even. <laughs> and until next month, my friends, goodbye. <laughs>